Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 18th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This reading is not science specific, so it may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. Did you hear that? Some people didn't. It went right in one ear and out the other. Pew! Gone! Didn't hear that part. Pew! Gone! Did you hear it yet? This reading may or may not be for you and the timing is fluid. What do we got? Keep in mind that every word that comes out of my mouth during a reading is part of the reading. What did I just say? A little bit differently. Gone! What do we got? What do we got? Two cops. This is a union. This is two people coming together. Somebody's been holding on, obsessed. Now, somebody could be obsessed with holding on to a union, right? Is that what we got here? Somebody that is obsessed with holding on to somebody? Oh, it's time to go. It's time to go. So, all right. It's time to move on. That is, it's time to go. Somebody may be coming to the rescue. Somebody may be coming to take somebody away. Somebody was obsessed with holding on to something. You know, when I was looking at this card, I was looking, it looks like somebody's not happy. It's like, yeah, this is a union, but it's not. It doesn't look like it's a very happy one. It doesn't. Which is interesting. So somebody is obsessed with holding on. This person is greedy. This person is selfish. I mean, this person is ugly. Take a look. This person is ugly. Look at the look on his face. Very selfish. Resisting. Doesn't want to share. Doesn't want to open up. Doesn't want to give anything. Somebody is going to be going someplace. It's like they need to leave the trouble behind. It looks like somebody is going to be driving them away. So somebody could be going, being driven somewhere. Interesting. All three came out together, so we're going to put them like that. Let's get this show on the road. Justice reversed. Could be dealing with Libra. Um, somebody has been treated unfairly. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. There's been a lack of integrity. Somebody's been lying. Somebody hasn't went up, wanted to be held accountable for their actions. This is bad karma. Somebody could be receiving some bad karma for their stubbornness. Somebody's been really stubborn, holding on to something, not willing to share. This is somebody who will not share. This is karma coming in to move things. To move somebody out of a very troubled situation. This person is selfish. Whew. New opportunity. Somebody is seizing a new opportunity. It's like leaving behind the stagnation, leaving behind the discontent. It's like looking forward now. It's, this is a better opportunity. Seeing that there's a better opportunity. Somebody is seeing that there's a better opportunity after they've been in a very troubled situation. This is being indecisive. Somebody was indecisive, but 
I think there's been a lack of integrity and a lack of truth and something like that. Unfair treatment. Somebody wasn't treated fairly. Very much under another person's power and control. We have the King of Wands reversed here. That is somebody who is narcissistic, controlling, unreasonable, self-centered, uh, <laughs> lazy, impulsive, very egotistical. We have an egotistical person who was trying to control another person. Interesting. Could be an, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. They may have been trying to control a Libra. Somebody may have treated, they treated somebody unfairly because this is unfair treatment. Queen of Cups, this isn't love. It's not love. This is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Could be a mother and a father. Doesn't have to be. But this person is emotionally unavailable. They don't know how to love. They don't know what love is. And they may play the victim card. They may use silent treatment or victim mentality or emotional blackmail as a tool to keep somebody feeling bad for them. I think it's going to be an emotional time as well. There could be some tears that are shed very soon here. There could be a relocation. Somebody is probably moving. Okay, there's no growth. Something hasn't grown efficiently, effectively. Somebody didn't nurture. This is lack of nurturing. This is lack of nurturing. Somebody did not nurture something like they were supposed to. Very selfish and greedy and obsessed. Somebody may have some sort of obsession. They may have a self-image problem. That's not love. Somebody has been in an unrequited love situation. They didn't, don't know how to love. Emotionally withdrawn. And somebody is moving, being moved away. It's like somebody is coming to a rescue, the rescue and moving them. Now, this Ace of Cups reversed, that's shutting down emotionally. There's been an emotional blockage because of somebody's stubbornness. Somebody was so obsessed with, obsessed with power and control, they were, they were blocking somebody else's love. Interesting. Something is being released. The Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands reversed. This is something being released. Freeing yourself. Somebody is being freed. From an emotionally unbalanced situation. Justice reversed is unbalanced. Somebody is, is being freed from an emotionally unbalanced situation. It's like... It's like somebody is, is coming to take them away. Because that's you see with this card. It's like this, is, this person is driving somebody in a new direction. Right? I mean, that's what that is. Somebody is driving somebody in a new direction. Right around the corner. This is going to happen soon. Very, very soon. Um, this is seeing a better opportunity. Seeing a new opportunity for love after being in a very controlling and manipulative situation. This has reached the point where it can't be held on to anymore. Somebody's going to be uh, dropping something. They could be dropping something off even. We'll be dealing with a king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this one is in reverse very stubborn in the king of wands so we have aries leo sagittarius and taurus virgo capricorn this person is very stubborn and egotistical we have a, we have an egotistical and i think i don't know if it's a masculine or a feminine i mean this is these are both very masculine energies but but um air signs and Fire signs are very masculine, and not that you're masculine if you're a female, but they tend to take on more masculine and, and fire, and then earth and water are, are more feminine. But anyway, we have a masculine's energy here that is very controlling, but this could be a feminine that is very masculine. But anyway, um, 
No, this could, is some sort of loss. This person is... We definitely have a couple. I think it's two people, and I think it is a couple. These people have been working together. That's what this union is. It's not a happy relationship, but it's like these two people have been working together. They have. But it's not happy at all. It's all about power and control and holding on to something that isn't love. There could be codependency issues here. But anyway, this is personal freedom. So something this somebody's about to be freed from somebody's control. Very much controlling here. This person isn't interested in love. Neither of these none of these people are. It's all about power and control and greed. All of it. Very selfish, a couple of very selfish individuals here. But something hasn't grown the way it was supposed to. Somebody's probably going to end up crying because there's going to be an emotional loss. Somebody is going to experience an emotional loss because of their pride, because of their stubbornness. Somebody's going to be relocating by the looks of things. This is relocation and so isn't that one. Wow! Five of Swords, and I was going to clarify this, Two of Cups, this, this is, this, this, this is really bad. Okay, so this is, this is somebody that has been very sadly controlled. This is a narcissist, or a couple of them. Could be two narcissists that came together, and, you know, that's, that's a nightmare. That is a nightmare. So, uh... This is, this is, do you want to prove yourself? Do you want to be right? Or do you just, or do you want to be happy? So somebody may be deciding to let go of an emotionally unfulfilling situation because, you know, the loss could be so great if, if you don't. Anyway, so this is, I just want to be happy now. I just, it's time to be happy. Ties are probably going to be severed. There is this empress here. This is a mother that is not really a mother. She doesn't take care of herself and she doesn't, maybe she didn't take care of herself when she was pregnant. This person doesn't take care of her children. The Empress in reverse, she's not a very good mother. So, and this is not a very, so there, it, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but there is a, a loss. This is a loss of a, I mean, the Empress reverse could, any reader knows what that means. Somebody could lose their child. I'm just being honest with you. Because they didn't nurture it. This is lack of nurturing. They didn't take care of things. To make things grow, you have to take care of them. You have to feed them. And somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do. This is a dead end. Somebody has health issues. This is health issues. This is too. So we got somebody here that has some serious health issues. They're exhausted. They may be very frustrated. And you know, it's either if you want to, this is about either you want to prove a point and you want to continue to fight or do you want to be happy? That's your choice. That is your choice. All is not as it seems. Somebody's been hiding something. That's the moon card. Something has been hidden below the surface, and somebody's been hiding it very, very well. But you see, the sun is going to come out, and the sun is going to shine the light on the situation. Somebody's going to be changing homes or moving homes. This is the end of a family legacy. It's the end of a home situation. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's not going to last. It's not lasting. It's not stable. It's not comfortable. Something is coming to a complete halt. Somebody could be receiving some bad news. There could be a no contact coming up where this is there's like contact has come to a halt. Stopped. Somebody uh Maybe this is insecurity.
They may even feel ashamed of themselves. They may be ashamed of themselves. There is definitely going to be some upheaval. It's like things have somebody has made some poor decisions, they've made some poor choices, and I think there's about to be a big loss. You could lose two. There's two here. Two there could be two big losses. Because of the unbalance. Something is very unbalanced with that justice card reversed. It is. It's unbalanced. And and somebody is headed with the Ten of Wands reversed. It's like their balance awaits. And the only way to find balance is to move. I see moving here. Moving out of this situation that is, it's basically a dead end. It's unhealthy. It's very unhealthy. So I feel like today is a day of movement or a movement in the very near future. Judgment day. Judgment day. This is this is this is a wake up call. Somebody's about to get a big old wake up call. And this is a card of release. A secret is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed. Somebody's going to get the wake up call of a lifetime. Good luck. That is a wake up call. Somebody is about to be judged for their deeds. It is. What do you think? What is Judgment Day? It's, it's Judgment Day where you go and you're judged. You're judged for your actions. Right? You are. You're judged for your actions. So, yeah. Good luck. <laughs>